love the Gospel of Mark. The image of Christ as portrayed by Mark the Evangelist is dark, devastating, and yet deliberate. Our Gospel for the first Sunday of Lent shows us how Christ is in charge of the mission that has been entrusted to him by the Spirit who led him into the desert and where he was tempted by Satan. After his 40 days in the desert, Jesus immediately takes up his mission and proclaims, This is the time of fulfillment. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. A late 19th century Russian painter, Ivan Kromskoy, captures the mission of Christ, which is dark, devastating, but deliberate. In his famous Christ in the Wilderness, Kromskoy captures the haunting image of Jesus alone in the desert. It doesn't describe the various temptations that Jesus would encounter. Interestingly, neither does the evangelist Mark. Unlike Luke and Matthew, the Gospel of Mark simply states that Jesus was tempted by Satan. In this image, the artist wants to show how Jesus is looking to his future. It is as if Jesus is fully aware of the end result of his mission, which is dark, devastating, and yet deliberate. The worn face of Christ shows the fullness of his humanity. It is not a pleasant portrayal of our Savior. In contrast to the sun that is rising behind him, his face is dark, staring at the ground which is lifeless and without water. God and the sinful world that he had adopted in Jesus Christ are truly one. Jesus is clothed in red and with a cloak around him, giving us a hint of the passion that awaits him and us at the end of the season of Lent, where Jesus will be offered up as a mocked and crucified king. The next time his hands will be clasped will be when he is imprisoned and on trial. But this is the mission that he contemplates in the desert and the mission that he will complete for the salvation of the world. Notice in the gospel that Jesus was among wild beasts and the angels ministered to him. The artist Kramskoy gives us a hint of the angels who minister to Jesus as he allows the sun to rise over his shoulders. It is as if our Father in heaven is saying to his beloved son, I am with you on this dark, devastating, and yet deliberate and necessary mission for the sake of my people. I invite you to journey with Jesus in the season of Lent. Consider attending a Stations of the Cross on Friday in your parish or reading the Passion of Christ according to the Gospel of Mark. Consider what our God in Jesus Christ has done for you. Blessings to you in this season of Lent.